From making Batman and the Joker siblings to making the sequel a musical, here are some more changes to Joker fully adieu. Sources say that Harley Quinn's origin is going to be completely changed. We're all aware of how the character is introduced in the comics. Dr. Harleen Quinzel meets the Joker in Arkham Asylum, where she's working as a psychiatrist. She falls in love, and in an attempt to cure him, the clown prince of crime drives her into insanity. The two reign terror on the streets of Gotham as the city's most dangerous couple. But guess what? None of that is going to be in Joker. Too. Sources say that director Todd Phillips has decided to make Harley an inmate instead of a psychiatrist. In other words, Arthur Fleck will be meeting his eccentric love interest within the confines of the asylum. Was this a spoiler? I hope not. Lady Gaga will be stepping into the Jester costume for this upcoming movie where she'll star and sing alongside Joaquin Phoenix's Arthur Fleck. In this case, she'll be putting on the uniform given to everyone in the loony bin. We've been given just one image from the movie gifted by the director as a Valentine's Day present. So, if Harley and Arthur aren't following the classic tale of the two lovers, what are the possible ways the story will go down? Well, for starters, the sequel will waste no time with the relationship. Everyone's familiar with the origin of the two. Granted, there's never really been a proper live-action adaptation of it, it's refreshing to see something different. And no, those flashbacks of Margot Robbie and Jared Leto in the 2016 Suicide Squad don't count for obvious reasons. Let's not get into that part of the DCEU for now. The way Phillips changed everything in the first part makes everything ten times more unpredictable. I mean, it's a musical for crying out loud. The confusing bit in this is that from Todd's Instagram post, Gaga is wearing what appears to be a yellow sweater. Last I checked, patients in the asylum don't get comfy woolen cardigans, now do they? Before this, the director gave us another look at Joaquin as Arthur strapped onto a table. This means Folia Du takes place moments after the previous movie where Fleck is running from the workers at Arkham. Question is, why was this change imposed in the first place? You see, Todd is a master at storytelling. When he had to pitch in his idea for a solo film on the Joker, Warner Brothers were a little hesitant. He also said that this will be a completely separate project, away from the ongoing franchise. Good thinking, because back in 2019, the DCEU was an absolute mess. The Hangover director wanted this to be the start of a new wave of movies, with unique stories being told by talented filmmakers. At first, he wanted to name this banner DC Black Label. Warner Brothers didn't permit him to do that, but greenlit Joker. Shockingly, it was a complete success, earning over a billion dollars at the box office. Joker and Aquaman being the most unlikely films to be a gross success is something the franchise really needed. Original storytelling done by professionals can never go wrong, and without a doubt, Folia Du won't disappoint. We shouldn't question the master at work. If the 36-year-old actress went along with the source material, the movie would have taken an hour to get to the point of her insanity. Fans are tired of waiting for the plot to get good and want to jump straight to the point. Though, the change is also an interesting challenge for Gaga. This will be the first time the singer will portray a comic book character. Her popular roles are in A Star is Born and House of Gucci. Neither of these movies had her prancing around chaotically hungry for murder. Now do they? One of the reasons for Quinn being a direct psychopath could have been for the artist to try some something new. Phoenix surprised us all with his brilliant performance as Batman's nemesis. Seeing his transition from an average civilian in an unjust society to a murderer leading a revolution had the audience at the edge of their seats. Yes, some of us would have loved experiencing Harleen do the same, but don't you think that particular plot would be repetitive? Phillips is bringing something new with an Oscar-worthy ensemble and a very clever title. After all, Folia Du might be teasing further plot details, and it probably went right under all our noses. The literal definition of the phrase is a delusion shared by two people of close association. Upon closer inspection, the two people could be blood-related. And there you go, another hint at a massive
massive plot twist. What if Quinn, not starting off as a psychiatrist, has something to do with her background and perhaps her family? What if it's her that turns Arthur into an even bigger criminal than he already is? Oh, the endless possibilities make this sequel so exciting. Gaga will have to do a lot to blend into this new role. We haven't received a trailer or anything like that yet, just a teaser of the two silhouettes dancing to classical music with title cards running in bold. So what do we know about the movie? For starters, it won't be out till 2024, the 4th of October to be exact. That is, if there aren't any inevitable delays. I sure hope it doesn't, though. Did you know the first part was released on the 4th of October 2019? Five exact years! Could this be another hint at some major theme of the film? It looks like Phillips is going for a classic and vintage look because of the classical music. Since it's a musical, you can't expect pop music and massive choreography now, can you? Even if something like that is in the movie, Gaga will be one of the stars who won't have a problem. Have you seen her concerts? She's a tremendous singer, dancer, and actress. Is there anything she can't do? She'll be portraying one of the characters that are the most difficult to adapt to in pop culture. It takes a lot to play Joker, and a lot more to play Harley. Margot has made the villain her brand at this point, so Gaga has a lot of competition. Robbie mentioned how glad she is that Harley is getting different versions in Hollywood. We've gotten several actors for Batman, Superman, Joker, and even other villains like Penguin and the Riddler. How many actresses can you name that played Joker's partner apart from Margot? That's right, none! Anyway, this sequel also has an A-star cast. Many familiar faces will make an appearance in Folie à Deux. These include Brendan Gleeson from The Banshees of Inishirin. Other stars include Zossie Beetz, Jacob Lott, Flint and Katherine Keener. You might not know them by name, but as soon as you see them on screen, it'll hit you. Joaquin and his co-star will have the most screen time, of course, and we aren't complaining. Joker and Harley have always been that one couple that fans will never grow tired of. The clown prince of crime's menacing and threatening aura, blended with Quinn's cringy yet exciting behavior, is always entertaining. Now that the sequel is becoming less of what we're expecting, there's no telling how things will go. Two of the oddest characters in DC being in a musical is a very bizarre concept. But hey, at least Bruce Wayne is far away from any intense singing or dancing. The character is getting the signature Todd Phillips twist, and fans are anxious to hear more. Trust the process. I'm sure you'll get your money's worth. Those were some of the changes Folia Du will be getting.